Dear grade 12 students, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to a new English video lesson, which centers around words related to environmental issues. To begin the lesson, make sure you have your Porta to English students book opened at page number 130 and the workbook page number 100. By the end of today's lesson, we are expected to accomplish three objectives. The first of which is to use 10 collocations related to environmental issues. And the second is to utilize and use the suitable derivatives from nine words. The third objective would be to employ the correct alternative from eight easily confused words. Let's move to the first objective, which is using collocations to describe environmental issues. Let's start by going to exercise A on page 130 and match the words to form 10 collocations. The first collocation describing an environmental issue would be related to soil and people would talk of soil erosion when they refer to the wearing away or loss of a field stop soil by the natural physical forces of water. So letter G would be the answer. The second environmental issue would be related to climate and we would say climate change to refer to the revolution in the average weather patterns. So letter D is the answer. And the third environmental issue would be related to oil and it would be called oil spills to refer to the liquid oil petroleum when released into the marine ecosystem, which is harming the marine life by these oil spills. And because of the acidic components such as sulfuric or nitric acids in the rain, we would refer to acid rain as environmental issue number four. And the fifth environmental issue is called species extinction, which means that some species become endangered or extinct. So H is the answer for number five. And to describe the lack of access to clean, fresh water, we talk about water shortage. So letter F is the answer for number six. And people will talk about illegal logging, which is when people violate the national regulations for cutting down trees. They are committing this crime of illegal logging. So letter C is the answer for number seven. And when chemicals which pollute the air and contaminate the soil and water are thrown away, they are considered toxic waste. So letter I is the answer for number eight. And the environmental issue number nine is carbon footprint, which refers to the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere as a result of the activities of a particular individual organization or community. So letter E would be the answer. The final environmental issue in this exercise number 10 is ozone hole. And when people have polluted the atmosphere with chemicals containing chlorine and bromine, they cause the ozone layer to deplete and form a hole in this protective layer around the planet. And now, Khalid, which of these environmental issues do you consider the most important? Actually, I believe that water shortage is the most important issue. As the lack of fresh water may threaten the life of all living beings on Earth. And what other important environmental issues can you think of? Plastic pollution, electromagnetic pollution and radio wave pollution. Now let's move to our workbook, page number 100. And here we are expected to match the words to form eight collocations talking about environmental issues. The first of which is number one, carbon footprint. Number two, climate change. Number three is oil spill. Number four, water shortage. Number five, ozone hole. Number six, soil erosion. Number seven, acid rain. And number eight is toxic waste.
And now we are supposed to complete the sentence at the bottom with one of the environmental issues mentioned above. So let's start. Sentence number one says, air travel is one of the major factors that increases a person's what? Of course, when you use the airplane or you travel by plane, you are consuming oil, which is giving us carbon. So this is increasing the person's Yes, carbon footprint. Sentence number two. Unfortunately, these statues have been badly affected by the space caused by the city's high pollution. Of course, pollution causes what we call, yes, acid rain. Sentence number three. Due to the long dry summer, the town is suffering from what? Of course, because it was a dry summer, they will suffer from water shortage. Number four, it will take months to clean up the space left by the ship that sunk off the coast last week. Of course, if this ship contained oil, it will leave an oil spill. Now, number five, you won't believe the amount of space that's dumped into the river every year since we are talking about something that's dumped into the river we are surely talking about toxic waste number six deforestation causes space we know that trees hold down the soil so when deforestation happens it causes what of course soil erosion Number seven, rising sea levels and unusual temperatures are enough evidence that space is a major problem that needs to be dealt with. Of course, what caused the ice to melt and the sea levels to rise is the climate change. And number eight, and the last sentence says, recent statistics suggest that the space over the Antarctic is growing at a dangerous rate. Of course, what is growing nowadays is the ozone hole. Now, with the second objective of today's lesson, which is utilizing the suitable derivative from nine words. So we are going to form and use new words from given words. For accomplishing our second objective, we are going to fill in the gaps in this table by providing the part of speech that's relevant to each word. For example, here, the first gap in the table requires us to get the word environmentalist, which is meaning the person who is supporting the preservation of natural environments. And the second word is going to be the noun from the verb conserve, which is conservation, meaning the protection from destruction loss or other harmful changes. An adjective from the verb protect would be either protected if we are referring to who or what we are protecting or say protective if we are mentioning something intended to afford protection. And if we need to keep something or stop it from happening or being in a certain state we would use the verb prevent. While the state of being polluted is referred to by saying pollution. And the word harm could be used as a verb or as a noun to describe damage or injury. But we use the word harmless to describe what is not causing harm. And if we use the word destruction to refer to the termination of something, we can use the word destroy as a verb. While the word endanger means to put a threat or put at a risk, the word danger would be the noun which refers to the condition of being at risk. However, we could describe a species by the adjective endangered to say that it is at the risk of extinction. The word threaten is a verb which comes from the noun threat. So far, we have derived different parts of speech for each entry and now let's see how we should use the correct word in the sentence. 
Now, after we have learned how to use suffixes to change parts of speech, let's do this exercise on page number 130 in our student's book. Exercise C. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the words in capitals. Sentence number one. The government is finally taking action to do something about the space river that runs through our town. Here we might think that we need a noun after that. But if we look after the space, we would find the word river, so we will need an adjective for this place. So we will use the word polluted, the polluted river that runs through our town. Now, sentence number two. The space of our flora and fauna should be a top priority for everybody. And the verb here, protect, is not going to be used. Instead, we need a noun because we have the word the before the space and the word of after the space. The noun should be protection. So here, the protection of our flora and fauna should be a top priority for everybody. Sentence number three. Most animals attack when they feel space. Here, we need an adjective to describe the feelings of the animals when they attack. Of course, the adjective from threat is threatened. So we would say most animals attack when they feel threatened. Sentence number four, the space of the rainforest is causing many problems to the local community and ecosystem. The word destroy would be used here, but we need a noun. So the noun of the word destroy is destruction. So the destruction of the rainforest is causing many problems to the local community and ecosystem. Number five, Shaima is studying wildlife and fighting for animal space. What comes for after animal here would be a noun. And the noun from conserve is conservation. So we would say Shaima is studying wildlife and fighting for animal conservation. Sentence number six, many cleaning products contain space chemicals that can put the environment as well as our health in danger. We need an adjective from the word harm to describe the chemicals. And here we're going to say that these chemicals had a bad effect. So they are harmful chemicals to the environment and to our health. Sentence number seven, the problem of air pollution is going to get worse unless space measures are taken to deal with it. Here we need the adjective from the verb prevent to describe the word measures. And these measures are going to be preventive measures. In sentence number eight, the black rhino is a or an space species which lives in the coastal areas of South Africa. Here we need an adjective to describe this species which is in danger. And of course, it is going to be an endangered species because the black rhino is considered one of the endangered species. In the last sentence, we would say that a group of space managed to stop the factory from dumping toxic waste into the lake. Here we have the noun environment. Yes, that's true, but we're not going to use this noun because we need the noun which describes the people who are supporting the environment, which is called environmentalists. So we would say a group of environmentalists managed to stop the factory from dumping toxic waste into the lake. Right now, let's move to the third objective, which is trying to employ the correct alternative from eight easily confused words so let's start in order to achieve our third objective we are going to focus on exercise d in our students book page number 130 and this activity asks us to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in the boxes sentence number one says the school put a lot of space into making its recycling day successful People would say that the school put a lot of, yes, effort into making its recycling day successful. We usually say that we are putting effort into doing something which is meaning to give the mental or physical energy needed to achieve something. 
Sentence number two. It is better second space at running a marathon. We could say that it is better second attempt at running a marathon. As we often say, first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, or whatever the number of attempts, to refer to an effort to do something, usually very difficult and often without success. Sentence number three. Young children never fail to get excited when doing science, space, in class. Normally we know that we talk about science experiments in class. And an experiment is a new idea, activity, or technique that you test to see if something happens or what effect does it have. Sentence number four. After last week's space period, I have decided to carry on cycling to work instead of driving as a way to reduce my carbon footprint. Of course, we would say that after last week's trial period, and we always talk about trial as a process of testing a product, a person, or a plan, especially before you make a final decision. Sentence number five. My parents don't want me to hang out with my cousin Harry. They think that he has a bad space on me. Of course, he has a bad influence on me. People will talk about a bad influence or a good influence when they refer to the effect that somebody has on the way other persons think or behave. Sentence number six. If certain prey species start to decline in the wild, this will have serious space for many predators and there will be less food available. We would say that this will have serious consequences for many predators. And when we talk about a consequence for somebody or for something, it means the result or effect of something that has happened. Sentence number seven, air pollution is thought to be having a very bad space on public health. And of course, air pollution will have a very bad effect on public health because an effect here means a change. Sentence number eight, his illness is the space of many years of working in a polluted environment. His illness is a result or the result of many years of working in a polluted environment. Here the word result means that something is caused because of something else. And now let's have some further practice by doing exercise B on page number 100 in our workbooks. We are going to circle the correct option. Number one, whoever breaks the law has to face the results or whoever breaks the law has to face the consequences. Of course, whoever breaks the law has to face the consequences. Because consequences means the results or effects of something that has happened. Sentence number two, taking up running had a really positive influence on my health or taking up running had a really positive effect on my health. I should always say that Taking up running had a really positive effect on my health because effect means that change in somebody or in something that is caused by somebody else or something else. Sentence number three. Should I say, I love science lessons, especially when we do experiments or especially when we do trials. In science lessons, we do experiments, of course, because they mean the activities you test to see if something happens or the, the effect that it has. Sentence number four. Karen failed in her effort or Karen failed in her attempt to go to the jam every morning before work. Here I would choose attempt because the word attempt means that it is an effort to do something, usually something difficult and often without success. And here it is uh, Karen's failure to make an attempt to go to the gym every morning. And now, sentence number five. I have thought about growing my own vegetables, but there is just so much space involved, isn't there? 
Well, which word should I choose here? Effort or attempt? If I'm going to use the word effort, it is because it means that you are putting effort into doing something, which means that you are giving some physical energy or mental energy needed to achieve something. Thank you very much for watching this video. You will find it available on your accounts on Microsoft Teams. Goodbye.